Hi guys, this episode will be days 41 to 50, but first, wow, we just hit 2,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I just want to thank you guys so, so much. It really does mean a lot. And my next goal is 3,000. And if you want to help the channel out, go down and subscribe now. Now let's get on with the video. All right, day 41, old Gilly Sparkman. We're looking good. We got no water. We still need to rain. Um, so hopefully we'll get that uh, within the next couple of days as we have no water here, but that's fine. We'll get some from the other houses. Why don't we look at this uh, prepper top, prepper jacket, do some repairs on that, and then probably push on to the uh, military encampment again, I think. Okay, so I've repaired the prepper jacket, and it doesn't actually give you any debuffs for attack speed, which is good, whereas I think our leather jacket does. Yeah, so this is actually good. Even though it's got the hole in it, we have patched that up, and if we got a tailor in high enough, we may be able to repair it fully, but yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a good, good old find. Oh, we're actually out of salad in the fridge. Uh, that's not good. Let's move some to the fr uh, to the from the freezer to the fridge. Oh, I think what we'll do today, we'll uh, we'll not go too far. We won't push into the uh, the military camp yet. We'll stay around and work on our tailor, and I think um, that's what that's what we're gonna do. Mm. So we did find a, a sewing store actually, and managed to get a little bit of thread. We don't really need the thread, but we want to get them levels in. Uh, in tailoring, so making thread seems to be the best best way to do that. Let it level four to be fair, and if we find some, uh, we'll just drop that because I say we don't really need the thread. We got some uh, some nice prime candidates up here to give us some more f uh, sheets. Hello. Oh yeah, we got that level. We got that level in tailoring. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, looking good. We'll probably spend tomorrow reading t the next tailoring book then. To be fair. Uh, but, you know, it's this progress. We're going to keep these dirty sheets as well. Mm. So we've made it pretty clear. So we'll probably come up with... We are probably going to move to the other gas station, I think. Um, and because it's a hell of a lot closer. And it's fairly clear. So that's a job that we'll have to do as well at some point. But I think today we're going to head back because it is uh, 20 to 4. So we're probably going to start getting tired fairly soonish, I'm going to think. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect, perfect. Right, let's have some, uh, some little snacks, uh, some chips, and then we'll hit the hit the hay. Alright, day 42. We have got a lot to do today. We have got to, I think we're going to probably, let's have a look in the old map. We need rain. Um, let's, yeah, let's go push up into that gas station. Um, where are the tents? Are the tents are? Yeah, let's push into the gas station, clear it out, uh, and then tomorrow we'll go and get the other uh, the generator from the gas station that's down on the other uh, other gas station now. Hmm, we may actually find a generator in these storage lots. Shall we have a look? Let's go over and have a look. Hmm, no generators in the open ones. I don't really want to open the closed ones because we know what happened with the uh, the bunny party. Uh, and I just do not want to risk that. So we'll go get the other generator. It's not a problem. Oh, we got some guests that have arrived at the old uh, gas to go. Not today, guys. Come on. Looks fairly clear. We're going to scope out the uh, surrounding area, though, just to be safe. We don't want any nasty surprises now, do we? I mean, I imagine these, uh, these buildings here are absolutely crawling. Oh, look what we found here. A nice little horde. Ready for the old... See ya. All right, so we've made it to that little military encampment. We can have a little look while we're here. Don't really want to push in there today. Yeah, Raven Creek General Hospital. That's interesting. Ah, didn't bring any cabbage salad with me. God damn it. Wow, okay, okay, okay. They See, they, this, this is Raven Creek right here. Oh, Lord. We may have to retreat. There's still a hell of a lot of zombies around, though. A hell of a lot of them. Okay, so it looks like the majority of them have stopped following us, which is fine. We can deal with these in this building. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we are home. Time for a cabbage salad. Actually, our calories are dropping. We could do some high cal stuff. I don't know if we've got any, to be honest, though. Ah, the MREs, they, uh, they're sorting us out. They give us nearly 2,000 calories, so that's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to be eating them now. I want to have a look see if we can make a sword, though. Okay, so uh, I've favorited a couple um, of what look like swords. So we've got the salvage blade, scrap blade. I think that's probably going to be the worst. Uh, and a scrap sword. 
Well, we can make a scrap sword, so let's bring some leather over and make a couple of them. We'll give it, we'll give it a go, shall we? All right, well, we've got a scrap sword. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put that on our back. Let's see what uh, this bad boy's like. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't think it's the best one, though, so I think it is quite flimsy, to be honest. Um, so probably what we're going to do for the rest of the day is just chill around at base. Go and, uh, oh, let's make a... Oh, no, we ate, didn't we? We don't need no MREs. Let's go chill on the roof for a bit. Uh, any books that we can read? Eh... Uh, Probably not. So yeah, let's go chill on the roof, and tomorrow we'll go down and retrieve our generator and hopefully get it to the new uh, to the new gas station. All right, half past ten. We'll go and have a little uh, a little smoke before bed. Maybe a little snack. Uh, maybe a cabbage. Mm, no, actually, let's let's drink. Oh, that's wrong. Right. Let's have some beef jerky. Uh, and then off to bed and we shall see you in the morning. All right, day 43. Let's go. Let's go. We got our sword. We got a nice new sword. We are overweight for some. Some reason. Can we pull this into uh, the water bottle? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, machete can go in the backpack now. That's fine. And let's have some. Let's make some salad. All right. Let's go. Still no rain. Still no rain. <sighs> yep. Yeah, it ain't ideal, but you know what? We what's old Giddy Boy gonna do? We can't do nothing really. Hopefully we've got enough water. We're gonna go down to the gas station to get the uh, generator. Uh, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll go from there really. Shit. Uh, yeah, I forgot there, uh, there was, uh, well, blockage on the road. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be an episode if I didn't crash, would it? Let's be honest. Come on now. Uh, I mean, the sword isn't the best. At all, to be honest. All right, well, that's them taken care of. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get down there, shall we? Looks like we've had a bit of migration from the Zeds. Uh, cause I haven't been down here for a few days, actually. So, yeah, there you go. Always, always be prepared. Oh wow, yeah, we've had uh, we've had migration. There, you, you bastards. Oh, I think the last time we come down here, we had the shotgun out, didn't we? That's probably what's uh, what'll have done it. Oh wow, okay. Okay. Gotta be careful here. There's a few of them around. Yeah, we're gonna have to push up now. Yeah, I remember now. Oh dear. Oh wow, look at them all. Mm, we got a lot of them on us. This is not ideal. God, there is a lot. Let's try and split them up in these cars here. All this before. Half past nine in the morning. What a way to start the day. Oh. Okay, that's that done. Mm, two hits with this sword, so not amazing, but well, it'll save the machete, won't it? Mm, I mean, what's our long blade on? Um, so it's nearly at level four, so maybe at level four we can one shot. All right, we got the generator all packed up in the car. Let's try and get to the other gas station today. Uh, we'll go and assess the situation. Uh, I think it was probably worth bringing the uh, move into the closer one. Um, as I say, the, I don't really like it. God, look at the lag. Uh, like it down this area. Uh, some very tight, tight roads and a lot of wrecks. At least we've. Oh God, I hit that fence then. <laughs> yeah, at least the new one we can. Uh, you know, it's fairly clear on the way up there. See you later, suckers. All right, we've made it to the gas station, which is good. I think we're going to leave the generator here. All right, she's connected. Oh, Jesus. She's connected. We're looking good. Oh, long blade up. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe we can one-shot with this thing now. Got to remember to keep an eye out for um, propane tanks as well. Okay, so scrap blade we can actually make. We just need a plank. Um, but a scrap sword looks like we have we have everything. So, yeah, let's, let's try making one of them. I probably should have looked at what it takes metalwork in four, five, two. Okay, so this is probably going to be the best one. Uh, it looks quicker. Okay, we'll try this. We'll put the other... Uh, what else did we have? The blade, was it? Um, we'll put that away for the time being. Wait a minute. We just made another scrap sword, haven't we? Oh, we already had a scrap sword. Hmm, okay. Well, well, there we go. We got two of them now, so... Hmm, still no rain. Still no rain, please. All right, that time of the night. Time to hit the hay and see what tomorrow holds. We'll see you in the morning. 
All right, day 44. Let's uh, let's crack on. I'm gonna have another look at these swords because I'm sure I'm doing something wrong here. Mm, no, we did make the best one apparently. Oh well. Right, let's push on up to the uh, the military encampment. I think. Oh, I see something. I see. S oh, it's a spear. Ah, I thought it was a bloody sword. All right, let's park up at the gas station and go on foot. I think. We are getting more one shots with this now that we've gone up a level, which is good. Let's have a look in these um, uh, storage units, see if we can get any propane tanks. Nah, nothing really in here. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't like how the zombies keep coming out of nowhere. Oh, I think he's got a machete on that spear. Oh, a scrap spear. No, we don't want spears. We're no good with spears. We're all about the long sword. The long blade, baby. Guns and ammo. I wonder where that is. Is it in this little container here? Hey, lady. Sorry, lady. You've got to be careful because there was a shit ton of them around here. Oh, there's a bloody bookstore there as well. Oh, well, we got the Hattie generators now. We don't need it. We gotta be careful going down here. We gotta be really careful. Oh, there, there's a few here. Oh, we got a prepper. Maybe we try and take him down. We could get a perfect jacket then. There we go. Oh, we'll take the M1911 mag and the MRE. Oh, look at that, perfect, perfect top. We will take that, yes, please. And we'll take your other mag, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, so this doesn't actually open into the main road. This is the entrance. Wow, okay. Okay, I don't think we're going to push in there today. We can clear the entrance. Look how tight this is around here. Let's get the old pistola. Broke through. This could be a good uh, good location to bring a shotgun, you know. Very dark. Hopefully we get a storm coming. Beware, dead inside. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we ain't coming back here today. Let's give it a shout around here, I think. Let's get them all out and get the hell out. I got a feeling there's going to be a fair few of the bastards in there, you know. All right, we are back at base. Uh, we're going to do uh, a little bit of tailoring, uh, sort of prepper jacket out, and uh, that's probably going to be it for today. All right, done. 20 past 10, time for bed. Tomorrow, we'll see what it brings. All right, day 45. We need water, we need water. We need bloody water. We need rain. We have the emergency broadcast. Uh, I don't think we do. Uh, nope. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Um, yes, yeah, so we need water, um, but I think today what we're going to do um, is just da, 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 stay around base today. Let them all uh, mess around up by that military checkpoint place, the, the hospital there. Um, and then tomorrow we will probably push on through um, to that area. Oh, looks like we're going down the floor. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hang around base, do a bit of tailoring, get some levels. Fairly chilled one before we, we tackle that uh, monster of a, of a hospital complex, I think. Oh, we just need the rain. Bring on the rain. Come on, tomorrow. Today, tomorrow, please. We need the rain. All right, not a lot done today. Kicked around base, did a bit of tailoring. We did run out of uh, <laughs> rip sheets, though. But, uh, but it's fine, it's fine. Tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll push on to the military area. We may take the shotty with us for some shotgun fun. We are very low on water. Hopefully it'll rain overnight, uh, but we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 46, 10 to 6 in the morning. We're looking good, we're looking good. We're going to push on down to the uh, military uh, encampment there, the hostel. Do we take the shotgun? Ooh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I think we do. I think we do. Still no bloody rain, though. All right, we're going to have to do some uh, road works here. I think we're going to have to dismantle some of these because it is a bit of a nightmare getting down here in, in the car. We still need more propane as well, which is... Uh, hmm. That's important, very important. Mm, 
We ain't going to get down there, are we? Don't have a lot in the propane tank either to dismantle all these. So we're going to have to go down on foot, I think. All right, we're down. We're down here. Doesn't look too busy, to be honest. Famous last words, though. <laughs> Keep an eye on our six. Cane mache, we will take that, thank you very much. Nine millimeter suppressor, yep. Looks like we're going to need a uh, sledgehammer to get in here. Mm, we'll probably come in through the south side, I think. Let's clear them out a little bit around here for the rest of the day. Mm, yeah, we're going to have to come down with the uh, with the sledgehammer and we'll go along the south entrance if we can get through the wall there. Uh, and then we can stock up on all sorts of goodies, hopefully. All right, we are back at base. Probably just going to hang around here for the rest of the day, I think, and then attack the uh, that compound from the south tomorrow with the sledgehammer. And there's somewhere else I want to go and use the sledgehammer as well. So, yeah, plenty, plenty to do as always. All right, 10 o'clock, time for some snacks, and then time for bed. Ooh, let's see some of this junk we got in here. All right, day 47, we're good, we're good, we're good. We might stay around base today just to let some of the corpses despawn, just to help with the lag because we are getting it uh, quite bad. Um, I think it's just Raven Creek in general, to be honest. So uh, we're going to, yeah, stay around base, do a bit of uh, bit of tailoring, that kind of stuff. Um, we actually need some sheets, don't we? But we need water, Jesus Christ. It's an ongoing issue, this. We need the bloody water. But yeah, we'll, we'll kick around base for the time being. We'll put the sledge in our backpack now so we don't forget it tomorrow because I know what I'm like. All right, there we go. Half past ten. Not a lot done today at all. But as I said, it's good to uh, to get them days in just to let the corpse, uh, corpses despawn. And then tomorrow we're going to push push back on down to the, uh, the encampment there. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 48. We're looking good. We're looking bloody good. We need some water. God damn water all the time that's and we do have two water bottles in there but let's not use them unless we have to let's open both of these up all right we got water from the uh, the neighboring uh, apartments here but it's gonna run out soon Jeez. all right well let's crack on anyway we got the sledge we're good to go let's go and investigate oh we got a fog coming in that ain't good that ain't good <laughs> Okay, so what I actually want to do as well is get through this barricade because it looks like there's a safe compound down there, which looks pretty cool, actually. And there's also, of course, the big industrial estate, which should have plenty of propane for us. So that is going to be a mission. We are going to have to dismantle a lot of this stuff, but, you know, it's uh, going to be worth it, I think. We're going to have to sledge this down as well. I hear zombies, but I just don't see them. Okay, so we're through, kind of. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, we haven't run into too many zo uh, zombies, though. This is the first guy. Oh, we had a fair, fair bit of stuff on him, but nothing that we really need. Let's go and have a little scope out. Looks fairly clear. All right, we're through. We are through. We're probably... Um, but we may... Um, no, let's... Oh, I don't know, this weather is absolutely horrendous. Let's uh, hang around and hopefully it passes. Okay, so the fog's on to go. We have found a propane to, uh, a propane truck, which is amazing. But is it even going to be uh, usable? That's the uh, that's the question. Uh, no, it has no gas in it. So there we go. Uh, we can push up to the uh, to the encampment. I think oh, there's a few zeds up there. See what we can salvage from there. All right, so we made it to the little entrance. Let's park up so we can uh, get out if we need to. Mm. Don't know how I feel about this. Let's get out onto the main road here. Looks like the car is uh, on its way out as well, which isn't good. Yeah, she took a beating. I feel there's going to be a lot in these buildings. Oh, 
We may have to look at watching some Mechanics VHSs and doing a bit of grinding to repair the engine on this, possibly. Uh, on our car, unless we can find another one around us, but I don't think there is. I know we got the relay, but the boot isn't isn't really that good on that. And we do have the Humvee as well, but I need someone a bit, bit smaller. All right, let's get smashing. Oh wow, yep, we got a uh, we got a lot of stuff in here. Wow, okay. Oh, this is all the uh, all the food. Okay, what I have found is an MP5 and an MP5 magazine, which we should be able to put the suppressor on, which is going to be amazing, actually. <laughs> and it takes nine millimeter, which is quite quite common. All right, well we got a fair bit of ammo. Let's uh, we know there's more here. We uh, we'll come and get it at some point. Let's get home now. I don't want to push one. Look, we got a box of MREs. We got a, we got a lot of good stuff to be honest. Yeah, we're getting tired and our, and our car is busted. So let's get out of it. Come on. Okay, the car's going. For how long though? That's the question. I mean, we may use this vehicle. I don't know what condition it's in, but it's quite. It looks quite small and nippy. It's like the relay vehicle. Um, yeah, it's in excellent condition, so we are just going to take this vehicle. Sorry, pickup, but you served your purpose. Not too much space in here, but, you know, what can you do? It's, it's worth having less space and not risk dying in the pickup, to be honest. Um, oh, I still have the sledgehammer on me, by the looks of it. Yep, okay, wow. It's more agile, this. I'm not too sure what the uh, the space is on there, but... 61, not horrendous. Could be better, but, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Let's let's get inside. Have a look at this MP5, I think. I do like an MP5, I won't lie. All right, so we got the MP5. We got uh, two magazines, which is good. We got a suppressor. We got a scope on it. Uh, yeah, wow. This is uh, this is good. This is good. Okay. It is... Oh, we still got the, uh, the, the uh, M1911. We don't need that. Anyway, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Time for bed. Tomorrow we're going to read, uh, not read, sorry, we're going to watch um, all of the uh, car zone magazines because, well, we've lost one car. We don't really want to lose another one. Where the hell is this M1911? There it is. Okay, let's pop that in there. Uh, our weight should be fine. we got the MP5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should, we should be fine. Well, how's that looking? Let's refill that. We are going to be low on propane, but... Well, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have to find some more. Hopefully, if we get to the dock... Um, then that will should hopefully have some bits and bobs there for us. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, we're calling it a night, and we'll see you uh, in the morning. All right, day forty nine, day forty nine. I kind of want to go out and test the MP five, but we will do that tomorrow. Today, it's uh, it's a base day. It's a base day. We're going to uh, look at these car zones and hopefully get a couple of levels, um, three or four, hopefully, and then. We can then repair engine parts and things like that, hopefully. Um, we don't have mechanics free, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, well, let's um, let's have a little walk over to the Royal Mail, the uh, post office over there. We may, um, there may be one in there that we can have. Nope, no mechanics, but well, there we go. There we go. Let's have a little look in some of the offices around as well, because we may be able to find a water dispenser, and that would actually be amazing if we could. I think I saw one somewhere, but I just cannot remember where. <sighs> I found one. I found one. In the law offices. Amazing. Okay, so that's a win. That is a real good win. All right, we've got it. I had to take the water bottle off first because I got the mod. Uh, I haven't got all that much water in there, but, well, it's something, I suppose, isn't it? But now if we see any about, we can grab them, um, which is going to be helpful. All right, we got the water. Good, good, good stuff. Okay. That's something, and hopefully we'll have a... Uh, well, we'll have some rain at some point. <laughs> I swear, every every day I say we need rain. We need rain, we need rain, we need rain. <gasps> we have rain. We have rain. Oh, my God, we have rain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, we have rain. Let's get these cabbage planted. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, rain. Oh, hallelujah. The rain, the rain. <laughs> God, yes. Just as we got the water dispenser as well. Always the way. Um, okay, half past ten. Rain, it's still raining. It's still raining. Oh, it's still raining. What a much, how much uh, what do we got in these? How do I find it? How do I see this? Where do I see this? Uh, 105. Okay. Well, that's good. Time for bed tomorrow. I don't, I think we'll probably stay around base again. We've had the win with the rain. Uh, I, I feel it's, you know, it's, it's, 
fate is on our side, but I don't really want to go and push my luck. Um, not after all this. Um, so we'll probably just hang around base and go and test out the MP5, really. That's, that's what we're going to do, I think. All right, day 50. We have hit the halfway mark. Yes, we are staying around base because we're halfway. I'm not doing anything stupid. I'm risking anything. Uh, it is still raining, which is absolutely amazing. Let's fill up these water bottles because we can. Uh, let's go and have a look upstairs at um, the rain collectors. Have they got water in them yet? Are they showing water? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, amazing. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to kick around around our uh, area. Um and test out the mp5 a nice chill day to say we're halfway halfway through the 100 days which is uh this is pretty good I, I won't lie let's go find some zombies for this mp5 all right we got a candidate for the mp5 oh the range on this is not bad amazing that is our aim and our aim is only at two as well Yeah, this MP5 is an absolute game changer. Let's see if we can get in the liquor store uh, and uh, celebrate day 50 with uh, some bourbon. Why the hell not, eh? Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in there and uh, into the liquor store and get any brandy, which is a shame. That would have been nice for day 50. That's my goal for today. Get alcohol. No beer, but we got some high his. No, no beer. Okay, fair enough. Have found another liquor store, um, which we may actually be able to get into. Oh, shit. Let's get in. Let's get out. Let's get the liquor. Beer. Oh, God. Bourbon. Yes. There we go. We've done it. Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. Well, here we are on the roof. Day 50. Having a victory smoke. Uh, we're going to crack open a beer and some bourbon as well, maybe. We could probably do with the calories, to be honest with you. Uh, well, maybe not, actually. But uh, we'll have a sip of bourbon. We'll have a shot of bourbon. Um, one fourth. There we go. Good, 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 good. Yep. And then we'll finish that with a nice beer. We deserve it. Gil Sparkman deserves it. Day 50. Wow. And we've got rain. What a day. What a day for Gil to be alive. Jesus Christ. Skills wise, we're looking good. We're looking good. We do need a, another mechanics book. Um, cooking, we haven't really got any further. Um, and uh, short blade. <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't really got any further with that either. But how many kills we got with a short blade? 28. So... Uh, we have been quite lucky with what we found though, um, but yeah, we're uh, we're not going to do anything for the rest of the day So we'll have a little victory twirl um, And we'll probably end the episode here, but as always uh, thank you for watching day 50 completed um, And I will see you uh, in the next episode. Cheers